Okay, hello. I uh, hope everybody can see. It's uh, about seven o'clock right now, and the light is failing. The uh, and the blue uh, tarp doesn't help much at all with regards to the lighting. But it's been a week since I cut into the deck and replaced rotten core with a piece of plywood uh, sealed in epoxy. And when I did it, when I was leaving. Last week, I kept, I had this nagging feeling that I had forgotten something, and then it hit me, of course, when I got home, I forgot to sand the bottom side of the fiberglass skin, uh, both to uh, help it get a good bond with the epoxy, but also to uh, make sure that it's level and even uh, with the surrounding fiberglass. So I came down here today with a bit of dread, feeling like, oh my god, I'm going to have to do this again. But it turned out okay. So let me show you what I'm what I'm looking at here. There's only one edge that is slightly higher than the surrounding fiberglass. The rest is either dead even or just a little bit lower. A little bit lower doesn't bother me so much because you can use uh, filler to, uh, to fill that in. But this is how it turned out. So have a look. Uh, this is the edge along here. Um, and even on this part right here, it's level. It's a little bit high here. So, you know, I'll be taking a sander to that. Uh, but everywhere else, I put cinder blocks on it to keep it flat. Everywhere else, um, it's pretty good. Uh, a little high in places, but, uh, but not bad. So note to self, the next time I do this, make sure you, you sand off the backside of the fiberglass skin so you don't have to worry about this. But... Um, yeah, it turned out all right. So, today I'm going to be drilling a couple of exploratory holes in uh, another part of the deck uh, that isn't quite as big as the piece I just showed you, and what I'm going to do is just uh, inject that with some uh, penetrating, wood penetrating epoxy. Uh, okay, I'm back. Um, has it been a week or two weeks? I think it's been two weeks. Uh, no, it's been a week. Well, the weather is, uh, this is Michigan weather. It's either too hot or too cold, but not, not in between. It's Memorial Day weekend right now. About 85 degrees already, um, which outside is not a problem, but under a tarp, uh, it feels like a sauna in here. So very hot right now. There's a thunderhead moving in. So hopefully we do get a little rain, it'll cool things down, but I am determined to paint the boat over the holiday weekend. So, I still have a couple of things left to do in terms of prep, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. First of all, the edges here need to be filled in with epoxy. I'd rather do that than try to use fiberglass tape. I may eventually have to do that, but we'll see how the epoxy works. This end I have to sand and fare down be even with the rest of the deck. I'm going to be drilling a hole there, and maybe there, and maybe there, and maybe there, to inject whatever epoxy I can get in there, because I don't think that the thickened epoxy that I put in there a few weeks ago, I don't think it went all the way back, and I don't want to leave any gaps or voids. <clears throat> I'll be doing the same thing here and here. Now, I'm pretty sure I have some, yeah, maybe not, okay, yeah, there's delamination here, that needs to be taken care of, and on the stern, there is a small area where it sounds like uh, the core is rotted, instead of cutting out a piece of the fiberglass there, because it seems like a relatively contained area, I will be injecting uh, okay I'm not sure how well you can hear, hear me over the rain but uh, we're gonna drill some holes and see if we can um, take care of uh, any voids in here with uh, epoxy I'm not gonna thicken it this time because there's, there's a fair amount of thickened epoxy in there to begin with. 
so I should be able to just put it in without any uh, fillers at all. Charge my drill. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Alright, well, damn it. I need a new corded drill. My other corded drill is fried out. Well, I didn't fry out the. whatever they call this thing here. It's jammed. So, uh, alright, we're gonna do epoxy in the cracks at least here and see uh, how the regular epoxy works in there. Okay, 90 degrees is going to be the high today, so I rolled the tarp back so I don't uh, expire from heat exhaustion. Uh, charged my drill last night, so I also brought the charger with me today, which is what a smart person would do. I'm going to drill some holes now because I want the resin to set while I am uh, painting the, the top of the cabin here. So, or as I think the proper term for it is doghouse. Um, now, the holes I'm going to be drilling in the deck this time are not going to be nearly as deep as the ones I drilled there because I don't think that the wood is rotted here. I think it's just delaminated and I don't want the resin to sink down into a drill hole. I want it to spread out over the top of the core. I'll put this weighted down with a cinder block and hopefully um, it will cure uh, and relaminate. That's the idea. Time to test the theory. <clears throat> Okay, holes have been drilled, and what I have coming out of here is encouraging. It's dry, and none of this is wet whatsoever, uh, which means I, it was a good call to drill the holes. I'm going to vacuum this out and inject some epoxy into there, drop a cinder block on it and move on to something else that I can do right now. I didn't get on camera. That I do want to show you though is uh, I took a flathead and gently put, you know, put it into these holes here and gently pried up the surface a little bit to give me a, probably couldn't see that, could you? All right, like so, okay, to uh, gently or to give me some uh, room between the uh, core and the fiberglass. Um, now, those of you that have done this before that saw me try to do this yesterday with the syringe knew that I was doing it ass backwards. I was trying to suck the resin up um, by pulling the plunger towards me, um, which is the same way that I do it when I uh, give my kid uh, children's uh, Tylenol or Motrin. Uh, these don't work like that. So pull the plunger completely out, dump the resin in, replace the plunger. Right, and you, and you do get a very fine stream. So I need to mix up some resins. I need to mix up some resin, and uh, then we'll start uh, injecting it. All right. So syringe. One advantage of it being very, very hot out right now is that the uh, resin and the epoxy are very liquidy, very, I guess the word is viscous. So, let's do some injection.
All right. Well, I have uh, de-waxed the deck. By the way, the steam that you hear, the steam engine that you hear behind, that's actually a steam engine. Here, check it out. That's the Harbor Master. I guess you can see it again. There you go. Actually, the Harbor Master's son. That's like a 1890 or thereabouts, turn of the 20, 20th century steam engine that he likes to toy around with. So. That's what you're hearing, if people is the whistle or the hissing in the background. Anyway, as I was um, de-waxing the cabin top, um, I felt a depression. I can't believe I didn't see this before, but I have another soft spot. Um, I was hoping it was going to be uh, delaminated. Got it drilled in, and the wood that came out was wet. Okay, so this one I'm just going to drill and inject with uh, penetrating epoxy. Hopefully that will take care of it. And uh, I'll do that before I leave today. Now, this is what the deck looks like when it's been gone over with, I said copper before, but I uh, should have said bronze. Because that's what it is, it's bronze. Okay, so you get these, uh, these black marks vacuumed a couple of times so it's pretty clean now hopefully you can see this look at that that answers the question has the deck been repainted or refinished uh, by previous owners um, I mean those are drip spots um, I'm not gonna bother sanding those out I'm gonna prime over it and then paint over it now, sure to get the question, what kind of paint and primer am I using? And um, I'm about to blaspheme here, so uh, I am going to try Rust-Oleum Marine Top Coat. And uh, I'm sure I, I, can, I can hear the lynch mobs gathering torches and pitchforks as I, mention, as I utter those words. The reason I'm doing that, first of all, cost. Okay. Secondly, I've read in a number of forums that if you've got more time than money, uh, which I do, you can get a decent finish out of Rust-Oleum by wet sanding in between the base coat and the top coat. Now, I'm not so worried about the finish on the deck as I am on the hull, and apparently you get some orange peeling there also. Apparently it doesn't truly cure or harden you know, until about a week. Now it's been really warm, so I'm anticipating that that time will be cut down by a couple of days. But um, I'm not here during the week anyway, so I can paint it, come back the following week, wet sand it, put the uh, top coat layer on, and uh, wet sand that, and then uh, buff it, polish it, and it should be a decent finish. If it's not, then I wait a couple of years and I do it again with decent paint. So uh, we will see. The footage I just took, and it didn't really capture the, uh, the sides of the uh, of the cabin top. So I'm gonna do that right now. It looks a bit like uh, battleship. Well, it is battleship gray, but like I said, it's just primer. And a too long. Light enough to see the sun side. Hopefully. I'm well, thinking next weekend. Get the rest of the uh, primer on and get at least one coat of uh, mosquitoes. Um, one coat of the top coat on, or base coat at least. All right. Well, I'm running out of daylight, um, but yeah, not as far as I wanted to get, uh, but I'm satisfied with um, what I was able to do. So this is where we are. Sorry about the hand. First coat of primer. And 
I just did the cabin top because I still have issues with soft parts of the deck, which explains those holes. Um, not enough time tonight to uh, squirt some epoxy into that, so it's going to have to wait till another day. But, oops. It just uh, feels good to have it uh, to have some kind of uh, covering on it, some kind of paint on it, even though if it's just primer. <coughs> it's beginning to look like a different boat. A little splotchy in places. This is only the first coat. I'm going to put another one on there. And uh, by then, the deck should be ready to prime as well. Uh, and then it's painting. Okay.